Hi guys, in today's video, I'll show you how to use Google Forms for online registration. So once you're on the Google Forms dashboard, you can choose from one of these templates or you can click on template gallery at the top to see a few more templates. So here you'll have access to a few more options to use as a starting point for your forms. But today we'll be creating a form from scratch, so we'll click on blank. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is give our form a title. So let's go ahead and get that done. I'll click on this tab where I have some information saved. So I'll just copy the title and I'll go back to Google Forms and I'll paste it right here. Okay, now we can add our form description at the bottom. I'll just go back to the document and I'll copy the date and time. I'll go back to Google Forms and I'll also paste this in the description section. All right, so next we have email and we're collecting emails automatically. So I'll show you guys how to do this later on, but we can move to our first question. So I'll go back and copy the first one, which is full name. So I'll just copy this and I'll go back to the form and paste it in this field. And you'll also notice on the right, we'll see that the question type changes automatically. So now it's short answer, but we could also select from this list. If we want, we can add an image. We'll just need to select the location. You can also click on this icon to duplicate a question, this one to delete it, toggle this switch to make the question required. And you can also click on this icon to view more options. We need to add another question. So let's click on this icon over on the right and it shows up at the bottom. Let's go back to our document and we just want to highlight and copy our second question, which is mobile phone number. So again, once we do this, you'll notice that the question type changes to short answer. Okay, so I'll go ahead and speed up the process of adding three more questions. Now for the one that says, are you a YouTube content creator? We have a list of suggestions. So we have add all, yes, no, and maybe. So we just want to click on yes and no. And you'll also notice that it became multiple choice automatically. Now let's add a new section by clicking on this icon. So you'll notice that the section gets added at the bottom and I'll just go back to this document and I'll copy this piece of text and I'll go back and use this for our title, our section title. If you want to, you can add a description at the bottom, but we will need to do this for this example. So let's add a new question and I'll just speed up the process of adding the remaining questions since you already know how to do so. We're basically adding short answer and multiple choice questions. Okay, so we are done adding all of the questions for the second section. So let's go back up and we'll click on this question. Now we want to go to the next section if this answer is yes. So we'll click on this options icon, then go to section based on answer. Next to yes, we'll access the drop down menu and we'll click on go to section two. Now let's configure no. So I'll click on the drop down and I'll click on submit form. All right, so yes will take us to section two and no will have us submit the form. Now, if we click on this palette icon at the top, we'll be able to customize our forms. So if you want to, you can change your font settings for your header, questions and text. It's also possible to add a header to your forms. So if you click on choose image, you can choose a category on the left hand side. It's also possible to upload your own image or choose from your photos. So as an example, I'll choose this one and I'll click on insert. And you'll notice that the theme for your page changes according to the image you select. So it basically selects colors from the image. You can always make changes to these colors if you need to. You can click on the settings tab at the top to configure your form settings. So you can make this a quiz, for example, or you can customize your response settings. So here's the setting that lets us collect email addresses automatically. We also have presentation settings, which could also be configured. So for example, I'll turn on the progress bar and that's extremely useful for longer forms. Now we can also choose our form defaults, which lets us collect email addresses by default. And for question defaults, we can make our questions required by default. So once you are ready to send your form, you can click on this send button and you'll be able to send your form by email or via link or maybe an embed. And it's also possible to send via social media. Before you send your form, you can see what it looks like by clicking on the preview icon. And we can actually conduct a quick test by filling out this form. You can also see the progress bar at the bottom. Now for the last question, if we click on yes and we click on next, that should take us to section two, which we can also provide responses for. Okay, now I'll click on back and watch what happens when we select no and click on next. It just lets us submit the form. So that was an example of the go to section based on answer feature. I'll click on submit. And if we go back, we can go to the responses tab at the top. And here we can see the list of responses that were provided for each question. You also have the option to create a spreadsheet for your responses by clicking on this icon. Once you click on it, you'll get this pop-up that lets you add a title. So I'll just go ahead and do that. 
Well, right now we need to click on the create button and that basically creates a spreadsheet with the answers to our questions. All right, so this was basically how you create a Google form for registration. And if you wanna further enhance your Google Forms experience, you can do so with an add-on called Extended Forms. So to install the add-on, you just need to click on this options icon, then go to add-ons. And on this page, you just wanna search for Extended Forms. Click on the first suggestion. Okay, now we just wanna install the first result on the left. So I'll click on it and I'll click on install, then continue. Select a Google account. Allow. And then, once you're finished, click on the X. Go to Add-ons, then Timer for Google Forms, Configure, and you'll see a pop-up at the bottom on the right. You just wanna wait for it to finish and turn it on. So once you do this and it has loaded, you'll see a message saying, Attention Needed. You just need to click on the Fix Settings button. Okay, so the first option here lets you select how to share the form. And right under we have the timer settings. If you keep it on, you can select a time limit. Then we have restrict attempts. And we can also automatically submit the form when the timer ends. So once you're done, you can click on save to save your changes. And we can close this and click on preview to see what it looks like. So that will take us to another page where we can click on get started at the bottom. And now we can see our timer at the top. And we have the same set of questions. So we can go ahead and fill this out. So once we have submitted the form, we can go ahead and view the responses by going to the previous tab and we'll click on responses in the extended forms add-on. And that takes us to the extended forms app. And here we can view the response for this particular uh, submission. And we can also view a report, which would be much more robust if we had proctoring on. And our form submission was also recorded in the same spreadsheet. Now, Extended Forms has a lot more powerful features that you can explore on your own, or maybe you can take a look at our channel where you'll find videos on individual features. One of the latest features that we added was proctoring. So you can click on the options icon, then click on form settings, and you'll find the proctor tab at the top. So we have left a video on how to use this feature in the description. So go ahead and install this add-on for free just to try it out. And I really hope you found this video helpful. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.